Genetic Causes of Diabetes Mellitus Type 2, Wikipedia Audio Most cases of diabetes mellitus type 2 involved many genes contributing small amount to the overall condition. As of 2011 more than 36 genes have been found that contribute to the risk of type 2 diabetes. All of these genes together still only account for 10% of the total genetic component of the disease. There are a number of rare cases of diabetes that arise due to an abnormality in a single gene. These include maturity onset diabetes of the young, Donahue syndrome, and Rabson Mendenhall syndrome, among others. Maturity onset diabetes of the young constitute 1-5% of all cases of diabetes in young people. Genetic cause and mechanism of type 2 diabetes is largely unknown. However, single nucleotide polymorphism is one of many mechanisms that leads to increased risk for type 2 diabetes. To locate genes and loci that are responsible for the risk of type 2 diabetes, genome-wide association studies was utilized to compare the genomes of diabetic patient group and the non-diabetic control group. The diabetic patient's genome sequences differ from the control's genome in specific loci along and around numerous genes and these differences in the nucleotide sequences alter phenotypic traits that exhibit increased susceptibility to the diabetes. GWAS has revealed 65 different loci, and genes associated with type 2 diabetes, including TCF7L2, PARG, FTO, KCNJ11, NOTCH2, WFS1, IGF2BP2, SLC30A8, JAZF1, HHEX, DGKB, CDKN2A, CDKN2B, KCNQ1, HNF1A, HNF1B MC4R, GIPR, HNF4A, MTNR1B, PARG6, ZBED3, SLC30A8, CDKAL1, GLIS3, GCKR, among others. KCNJ11, encodes the islet ADP sensitive potassium channel KIR6.2, and TCF7L2 regulates proglucagon gene expression and thus the production of glucagon like peptide 1. In addition, there is also a mutation to the islet amyloid polypeptide gene that results in an earlier onset, more severe, form of diabetes. However, this is not a comprehensive list of genes that affects the proneness to the diabetes. Polygenic Most SNPs that increase the risk of diabetes reside in non-coding regions of the genes making the SNP's mechanism for increasing susceptibility largely unknown. However, they are thought to influence the susceptibility by altering the regulation of those gene expressions. Only few genes have SNP's in the open reading frame. These SNP's in ORFs result in altering of the protein function, and the altered function and therefore compromise the performances of the protein product causes increased susceptibility to the type 2 diabetes. One of the examples of gene regulation in non-ORF SNPs that influences susceptibility is the changes in nucleotide sequence in MICR ORNA binding site. MRNAs regulate gene expression by binding to the target MRNAs and physically block translation. SNPs on the MRNA binding site can result in faulty levels of gene expression as MRNA fails to bind to the corresponding mRNA effectively, leading to excess amount of protein product overall. Although the protein structure of the genes with SNPs are identical to that of the normal gene product, due to their faulty level of expressions, those genes increase risk. 
Genes such as CDKN2A, CDKN2B, and HNF1B exhibit increase the risk phenotype with SNPs in their 3 UTR MRNA binding sites. As CDKN2A and B regulate the pancreatic beta cell replication, and HNF1B is homeodomain containing transcription factor that regulates other genes, faulty regulations of those genes increase the risk of diabetes. Another example of faulty gene regulation that influence the susceptibility is the SNPs in promoter regions of the genes. Gene like APOM and APM1 increase the risk of type 2 diabetes when there are SNPs in their proximal promoter regions. Promoters are sequences of DNA that allows proteins such as transcription factors to bind for gene expression, and when the sequences are modified, the proteins no longer bind as effectively, resulting in depressed level of gene expression. APOM is partly responsible for producing pre-beta high-density lipoprotein and cholesterol, and APM1 is responsible for regulating glucose level in blood and fatty acid. Decreasing the level these gene products reduce the body's ability to handle glucose which leads to the increased risk of diabetes. It is important to note that those discovered genes do not determine susceptibility to diabetes for all people or cases. As the risk of diabetes is combination of the gene regulations and the interplay between those gene products, certain genes may not pose a threat to increase the susceptibility. TCF7L2 is one of the well-studied genes for diabetes susceptibility in most populations. However, SNPs in TCF7L2 that would normally increase the risk of diabetes does not affect the susceptibility for Pima Indians. However, this gene is associated with regulating the BMI for Pima Indian population. Various hereditary conditions may feature diabetes, for example myotonic dystrophy and Friedreich's ataxia. Wolfram syndrome is an autosomal recessive neurodegenerative disorder that first becomes evident in childhood. It consists of diabetes insipidus, diabetes mellitus, optic atrophy, and deafness, hence the acronym DIDMOAD. While obesity is an independent risk factor for type 2 diabetes that may be linked to lifestyle, obesity is also a trait that may be strongly inherited. Other research also shows that type 2 diabetes can cause obesity as an effect of the changes in metabolism and other deranged cell behavior attendant on insulin resistance. However, Environmental factors play a large part in the development of type 2 diabetes in addition to any genetic component. Genetic risk for type 2 diabetes changes as humans first began migrating around the world, implying a strong environmental component has affected the genetic basis of type 2 diabetes. This can be seen from the adoption of the type 2 diabetes epidemiological pattern in those who have moved to a different environment as compared to the same genetic pool who have not. Immigrants to Western developed countries, for instance, may be more prone to diabetes as compared to its lower incidence in their countries of origins. Such developments can also be found in environments which have had a recent increase in social wealth, increasingly common throughout Asia.